Okay, so this is Tire Hub, and it looks just like another hub. <laughs> you know, the most famous hub. What, what hub is that, Jessica? Can't say it. I'm innocent. Mm. Mm. Man, look at these beautiful mountains, and look at these this beautiful girl. Yeah. Whoa, relax, love. Relax with your pervertedness. Yeah. I'm going to go back to this mountain for you pure of heart YouTubers. You don't want to be perver perverted by Jessica's perverse talk. There you go. she got some mangoes. Operation success. 120 pesos. So you coming to Thailand or not? Are you going to Okay. Oh, good idea. Uh, so Jessica wants, so I, I need to do a border run, I have to leave, it's been three yeah, months, and she's like, get it to her and they're filming with yes, the lady boys. Every, every hour why does everyone, why does everyone say, oh, as soon as you talk about Thailand, everyone goes, oh, the lady boys, the lady boys. It's like, relax, mate, relax. This so there's the chicks, there's the rooster. Oh, the so check out the puppies. Where's the pool? That's the pool. So when Jessica calls me princesses, I have a pool at my house. That's the pool at her house. These gangster mountains, mate. How good is this? See, if you want a mountain girl like Jessica, come to Lippa City. Because you're from the mountains, love. That means you and yeah, you're a girl. The mountain girl I know for sure doesn't know how to drive. Ah, uh, uh, said, mountain girls don't know how to drive. Oh, Jessica. Okay. You're a mountain girl who can drive. You can teach a mountain girl. You can teach a monkey to drive. Can you though? Can you teach a monkey to drive? Where's that an urban legend? There you go. But if you taught a monkey to drive, he'd have the same license as you love. Which is no license, right? You're saying I'm I'm saying you don't have a license. So here's Jessica. Hey Jessica, how are you? Hi. What are you up to? Going for breakfast ready. Saturday morning. Going. Ready you ready ate, right? Saturday morning, going to McDonald's for breakfast. Dorks can go, eh, no good karma. You know how the dorks, when we say karma, they go, oh, McDonald's is bad karma. The American, uh, the American guy. It was like, oh, McDonald's, you talk about karma, you go to McDonald's. Hello, how are you? Hi. How you doing? It's the boys. What's going on, brother? What's happening? Hey, how are you? Hi. How you doing? Hey. This is a Suri Suri store. So it's like a little store where they sell things. Okay, okay, so... You can't reverse here because that's that canal yeah. for the water and Jessica's driving over it. And that's so your... That was your idea, love. I never did that. So did they complain? Were they like, you're sure. closing the canal or not? I was that? I will, they wouldn't complain, I guess, but I saw them just dipping it again the other day. Like, and it's because you drove over it, right? Why did you love it? It's really yeah, okay. I didn't realize there was a canal. I'm used to sewage systems that aren't above ground, love. You know what I mean? So sorry about that. Oh, it's a major Am I? It's a bit haunting. It's a bit what? Haunting. haunting. Yeah. I'm haunting. Yeah. That's like an adventure. Like we were chasing something, we've been chased, but we don't want to run away. I wasn't running away from anyone, mate. Not even yeah, in your you dreams. Were. Take it back, you mate. Said, oh, Take it back, mate. Okay, so you were running. I wasn't running. You're Just running too. Listen, with, don't, don't the, be, the, the don't be painting was, me as a coward in your thing, dreams, love. The thing was chasing you, wasn't. She said, oh, mate, I'm gonna do I wouldn't be stuff. running, mate. I'd be punching on, mate. I'd be punching on. I wouldn't be running from the monsters in your dreams. I'd be giving them an up, uppercut and an ankle pick. You know what I'm saying? Okay, guys, so here's a tip, right? If you come to Philippines, this ain't orange juice, son. It's like orange cordial, and it's really rank, right? But the pineapple juice is really good. So go the pineapple juice if you come to the Philippines, not the orange juice, because it's just orange cordial. Right, love? Am I telling the truth? Am I preaching it, son? Gonna be too sweet for your 
Well, the, the pineapple juice. It's not like the original. original. Yes, yeah, so I have to put a bit of water. I have to dilute it. It's very sweet. Like you love. It's very sweet like you love. Wow, smile. Bola, bola. I'm just, I'm just flexing my simp muscles, love. I'm just flexing my simp muscles. You know what I'm saying? So this is the green grocer. This is the green grocer. And Jessica's double parked because she doesn't really care about accidents or people or safety. Right, Jess? <laughs> she likes forcing oncoming traffic. Oh, look, there's a baby in the front seat standing up. Five meters? Five meters. Huh? Yeah, bro. Five meters. Five meters? Yeah, please, mate. Hey, maybe we could do some jujitsu on it as well. All right, so this five is, meters. yeah, five meters, yeah. They have those, like, phones. Have you seen those phones here? Those right. white phones, maybe you can do jujitsu on them. Like see how it's just... Bye, mate. How are you? YouTube. Very handsome. Start the blog. Um... <laughs> so what happened when I got out of the car? Oh my god, he's Yeah, I don't think they see a lot of six foot six hundred forty kilo stop. foreigners. So you didn't have a lot of toys. So you used to make bulls and cows chase you. Is that right? Yeah. And you had a lot of cousins, right? So it sounds like a good childhood. Was it a fun childhood? Coconuts fell on his head. Yeah, it was so funny. It's like a whole bunch, like it's a whole coconut. It was so funny. Wow, coconuts fell on his head. That's kind of crazy. He didn't really take any injuries. More people die from coconuts than shark attacks, mate. Yeah, more people die from falling coconuts every year than shark attacks. I met this guy, right? guy from the restaurant, okay? Yeah. He's dating a Filipina who's married, okay? She's old, I think she's still married. I know, but she's still married, right? Illegal, you can go to jail for years for that, right? Secondly, right, went to his restaurant, tried to use credit card, his staff said no credit card. I met him, I said, hey buddy, why is there no credit card in your restaurant? He's like, I do take credit card. And I was like, mm, okay. And he's like, well, why are you saying that? I was like, obviously your staff are saying no credit card because it can't be asked. So this all used to be a forest, right? Yeah, forest here. And you came here as a kid, you used to what? I used to pick up fireworks. Like, I, I had like a sack of a firewood every day. And I'll then what go, else? I'll do a mystery full sacks of firewood. And did you get paid for that? No. I just, my dad has like a place he puts his firewood and then every fiesta, right? We need a lot of firewood because we cook a lot of pig and stuff. So I do that at, like two months before fiesta. So you'd go and get firewood for the fiesta, right? And then you used to take mangoes as well from the, yeah? So you just pick mangoes and eat them, right? Yeah. Uh, well, you ask the owner first. They'll see you and they'll chase us. <laughs> I remember we just took this, it was out of the fence, right? And we took it and she saw us. So she, we know her, right? We, she, she lives there and she's like a bit like a there, like as a child always afraid of her. And then she saw us with one of her mango, which is out of the fence. We just saw, we just saw her. I was with my cousin, and then she chased us with a freaking thing. It's like a knife, like a bigger knife. Oh, uh, a kitchen it's knife. Us. No, it's not. It's like a. A what? No, a bigger one. She chased you with a knife. 
for taking a mango? She chased you with a knife for taking a mango. Yeah. Just practice. Dude, yeah. relax, bruh. I think Mama had one. We need to go for Mama. So this is Lipa City. So many foreigners here, though. They just don't come out so often. Oh, no, no. You can meet foreigners. If you go to Burger King, Pizza, yeah, you got, yeah, cafes. That, There's a cafe there, it's called Figaro. There's, yeah, yeah the well, it's, are mostly foreign. Yeah, yeah. So they just go there because they serve sausage roll, you know, like Western food and pastry. Why are we buying this again? Because the typhoon's coming, right? We've got to cover the weights up. Just give me the thing. I think you need a little bit of Thank you, brother. Legend. Take care. Bye, mate. Love, I reckon. I think we could do jiu-jitsu on that as well. I love jiu-jitsu. Should we go to there? I want to buy some mangoes. Yeah, sure. So the mangoes are in season, and they are the business, mate. The mangoes are so good. Look at these mountains, mate. It's such a beautiful view. That's where Jack's girlfriend is. And the mountains will... Well, the, 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 so I, I did a post, right? And I was like, Jack, let's pick up your girlfriend, let's go for pizza. He's like, oh, she's asleep. And there's like four in the afternoon. So I was like, is she 75 years old? Hang on, so these, this random dude on the street is Jessica's cousin, right? Even though so, owns the store. So nearly everyone in this suburb is a second or third cousin to you, right? In the whole suburb. But these people here with this establishment, mostly are not from but, just, e just e really but everyone in this area is related to you yeah, in some way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a second cousin second or a third cousin. It's all family. Yeah, everyone knows everyone here. So everyone's kind of related to everyone in the Philippines, right? It's a bit weird. You'll, you'll, you'll get whole suburbs where everyone's like second cousin, third cousin, second cousin. So this is Jessica's house. And there's all these chickens wandering around. This is my neighborhood. This is not my house. Yeah, it's a neighborhood. These things too low for my head as well. Let's hit my head in it. Here on Satan Street. And is Jessica trying to get the car down? So, Jess, this is guy Cheap Charlie, right? We met him at Pattaya. Uh, he uh, gave us a shout on his channel, right? And I went to his channel, right? And everyone is like communally bullying him. Like, there's like a communal. I don't know, mate. Everyone's just like, uh, like they've all turned on him. His whole channel's turned on him. They've gone to like this toxic thing. They're all bullying him, saying all this really mean stuff to him, right? So I posted a comment saying, you know, this guy's a nice guy. What are you guys doing? It's like a, it's like a crazy toxic place, right? And then the guys followed me to my channel, like trying to, like troll me because I, I, I made a comment on Cheap Charlie's channel. And I was like, brother, brother, I ain't no cheap Charlie, brother. You can troll me all you want. I'm up for it, son. Challenge accepted, you know what I mean? Troll me all you like, brother. Like, uh, I'm not cheap Charlie, mate. Troll me all you want, mate. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so yeah, it's pretty interesting. It's pretty yeah, interesting. Well, why don't, why don't they like well I, I think he, he just... have so many. Yeah, look, I think he... Um, I think he's just, he's on a bit of a downward spiral of depression and he's a lovely guy, but people get down. People get a little blue sometimes, right? Um, and I think that people have tried to give him advice, like, you know, don't, I think he stopped drinking. People try to give him advice and maybe he hasn't taken it. I don't know, they're frustrated. He's a nice guy though. And I don't think uh, he deserves uh, the treatment he's getting. So yeah, anyway, like he's getting coordinated troll attacks. Like, they're just crazy. I've never seen anything like it. It's the most toxic thing I've seen on the internet, for sure.
Where are we going? Burger King or McDonald's? Uh, McDonald's. Breakfast is always McDonald's. Like, I don't go to Burger King for. And that 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 that's like a philistine thing to say. You don't go to Burger King for me for breakfast, mate. That's like a. Yeah, yeah. What's that? I never go to baking. We've never been once we to baking for breakfast, right? Did. When did we go to baking for we breakfast? Never had my breakfast no. 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 So this is Lipa City. You notice how I say that like a Batanguinho? Lipa City. Is my Batangan accent good love? No. It's not Batangan at all. Oh, okay. Oh, why don't you just destroy my dreams and hopes for the future? I just did. Of my accent. That's a bit rough. Hello, how are you? So here we are at McDonald's. And uh, yeah. Uh, the menu. My girlfriend's gonna order. Uh, you know what I want, love? Sam Sam. Yeah. Uh, there's McDonald's in the Philippines. This one is actually too busy. The reason why it's not too busy is because you need a car to get here. So, or foot traffic. Yep. Meal? Yep. No, not meal, no, no. No juice? Yeah, okay, you get meal, yeah. Upsize of juice. Pineapple to large. Did you get all these balloons? You wanna have a mix party? There's the place, mate. I oh, need to having a party in here, so. Allegedly. Men at work, see? There's no, there's no people at work, there's no women, it's just men. Oh, tiger, tiger, tiger. There he is. Oh, the tiger's there. Where are you? Huh? Are you in the back? So we're relocating the weights from here to the garden. Okay, so we just loaded the weights, the barbell oh, the and Haley, into the car. Huh? And now we're gonna drive around to the farm and we're gonna put the weights on the farm. Huh? Right, Haley? So, sit do down, that? sit down. Oh my god, you're dirty, bro. Listen to Jessica. Jessica's an Eshe, bro. She's an Eshe in the Philippines, mate. Okay, so here's the farm. This is where we're gonna be doing our workouts. Don't run the tree over. Oops. So this is the farm where we're gonna be doing our workouts, right? Uh and where are we dropping it? I don't know. Where are we dropping it? as possible. So this is the house. Hey Lee. He's got some roosters. Cops. I want to put it there. This is the farm where Jess lives. How nice is it? Okay, so we were going to move the weights here. But on reflection, the footing is a bit uneven. There's a lot of animals here that poop. So it's probably better to have it outside on the concrete. It's just probably better to have it outside on the concrete. So yeah, we're not moving it here. Big now. Check out the rabbits. Big now. Okay, so we made an executive decision to move the weights back to the street. Right, Jess? So we're not gonna we're not gonna put in the weights here. Well, that was good seeing all the puppies, wasn't it? Puppies, the rabbits, the chicks. It was good. That's a Filipino farm. Look at this beautiful view from the, the farm. It's crazy. So Jessica, you, you bulls used to chase you here, right? Is that true? Oh, no. Oh, but you you used to yeah, just make bulls chase you, right? Yeah. 